everyone, Christy McCammon here. Today I'm gonna to show you how I serve one meal to my family with some simple modifications to myself so I can cook one meal, serve it together, and eat together. Two years ago, I drastically and permanently changed my relationship with food. Since then, I've lost 140 pounds and gone from a size 26 down to a 12. More importantly and more dramatic than the weight loss is the mental freedom I now experience. When I surrendered this part of my life, I realized that I was a food addict. And when I say food, not just any food, it was sugar and flour. I wasn't sneaking broccoli into my closet and carrots into my pocket to eat later. Now I follow four bright lines and boundaries in regards to food. No sugar, no flour, three meals a day, and measured portions. Those restrictions and boundaries keep me absolutely free from food obsession. When I first changed the way I dealt with food, and at the beginning, I would find myself making a different meal for myself than for my family. I would eat sometimes at a different time as them. I knew for long-term success, I had to come up with some modifications of our regular meals, additional meals that I could serve my family and eat with them. Certainly one of the easiest ways to serve your family and eat the same thing is serving some sort of meat or protein, vegetables, a salad, and some sort of dressing or vinaigrette that you can have, and then adding a grain for your family, such as a rice, potato, pasta, something like that. I also wanted to make some traditional recipes that my family loves that I could eat with a slight modification. One thing that I was really missing out on was Sunday tacos. I grew up and my mom made tacos every single Sunday and I kept the same tradition for my kids and my husband. So every Sunday we'd have tacos. When I started eating this way and eliminated flour, I could no longer choose the corn tortillas or any tortilla. So I saw a recipe for lentil tortillas and this allows me to sit with my family and have a taco. It's slightly different, um, but they are very delicious. I actually, my first video was how to make lentil tortillas. So if you're interested in that, check it out. But all I have to do is put the same taco meat in. I have my lettuce, uh, whatever you would traditionally put in a taco, cheese, hot sauce, and I can have two or three of these depending on how big each tortilla is. Another favorite was uh, taco zagna, it's called. It's, we call it burrito bake, but it's a Rachel Ray recipe, taco zagna, and you make the filling, and it's ground turkey and carrots and zucchini and beef broth and seasonings, and it's healthy as it is, but then it's layered with flour tortillas and cheese. So it's healthy, delicious. I don't mind serving that to my family, but since I don't eat the tortilla, I save filling aside for myself and I put it in uh, butter lettuce cups. You could use iceberg lettuce, whatever kind of lettuce you want. I like a little sour cream and hot sauce on that, just like that. Another simple modification is in place of a pasta using a spaghetti squash. These are spaghetti squash noodles and they're really good. It's a spaghetti squash and when it cooks, you just roast it in the oven about 350 for about 40 minutes. And this is what's on the inside of it. You scrape it out and it looks like spaghetti. And I serve my spaghetti sauce and pasta for my family, but for myself, I can make my own plate of spaghetti. Yes, it tastes slightly different, but it is still very delicious and allows me to cook one meal and eat with them. Occasionally, my kids do like to order pizza and watch a movie or something like that. And rather than me not be a part of that, I can modify it and be a part of it and just eat slightly different. There are lots of cauliflower pizza crust recipes. You can make it, you can buy some compliant ones and those are really good. I also sometimes will use these Ezekiel brand English muffins and make a little English muffin pizza. This is a sprouted grain, it is not flour. They make tortillas, bread, and English muffins. So it's a great modification, great alternative to the traditional flour. So I will just take a little bit of pasta sauce, meat sauce, whatever I have on hand, cheese, pop it under the broiler, and it's awesome. A few other hacks or tricks that I love is having cauliflower rice on hand that can be used for any kind of thing that I make that involves rice for my family. I just put my meal over this and you can add anything you want to it. I'll, often I'll add peas, corn, carrots, right to the rice, make a fried rice, uh, fried cauliflower rice that is for myself. 
The store now has zucchini spirals and carrot spirals and butternut squash spirals, which are all very good. You can buy a spiralizer and make it yourself also. Um, but depending on where you shop, these aren't always very expensive. And I always have canned corn and canned green beans available. Um, those are just a standard go-to if I don't have a fresh vegetable or if I don't have enough vegetables where I'm at. In order to keep the weight off and to keep my mental freedom, I had to come up with solutions, modifications, little changes that were gonna help me in my lifetime for the rest of my lifetime. If you have any questions, any other things you want me to try, leave a comment for me and I'll be happy to get back to you and answer it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share the video too if there's anyone that you think could use some of this uh, tools and modifications. If you wanna follow me on Instagram and Facebook, it's at life unbinged. Thanks so much.